This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these simple line style letter logos using Adobe Illustrator. And if you'd like to learn more about logo design, be sure to check out my Logo Design Academy. It's an 18-part video series where I teach you my entire creative process for coming up with logo design ideas from start to finish. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here, I'm going to open up Illustrator. I'm going to create a new document sized to 1280 by 1280 pixels. And up here where it says view, I just want to get rid of snap to pixel and get rid of anything else that may be checked here. We don't want anything in the enabled here in this menu because it'll just get in the way. Then I'll come over here to window. Uh, what we're going to want selected here is control, color, pathfinder, and stroke. And that's where you'll get these menus from right here that I have docked to the side of my screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a series of lines. So I'm going to come over here and grab the pen tool. And I'm going to come over here to the top left portion of the screen, or the canvas rather, and click to create a point. Then hold shift, bring the line straight down here. Click again to create another point. And then we can let go of shift and press enter on the keyboard. And there we have a line. Now if you come over here to the stroke menu, you'll notice it's sized at one point. I'm just going to increase that to make that size a little thicker. Maybe something like that looks pretty good. And where it says cap, just make sure you have this butt cap right here where you hover the cursor over it, it says butt cap. You're going to want that. You don't want to have a rounded cap here, otherwise what we're going to do is not going to work. So uh, once you have that set, you can grab the uh, select tool. And I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so I can see it a little easier. I'm going to hold alt and roll up the mouse wheel. And I'm going to take this line and I'm going to click and drag and then I'm going to hold shift and alt. And I'm just going to bring it over to the right a little bit like that. Maybe that much. And after I do that, I want to press Control D on the keyboard to repeat that process. And I'm going to press Control D a few more times. I'm going to keep pressing it until we have lines going across the artboard like that. That right there is what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do now is let me zoom back out. I'm going to click and drag over all of these lines. And I'm going to temporarily group them together by going to Object, Group, and now I want to rotate them around so that they're going diagonally. So I'm going to bring the cursor out here to this top right corner. And if you notice, the, the, uh, the icon of the cursor is going to change into a rotation handle. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to rotate that around. And I'm going to hold shift so it locks it onto that axis right there. And there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So let me just take this, the opacity of this. Let me bring this down a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a letter and put it up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the text tool. You can use uh, whatever letter you want for the sake of this tutorial. I'll be using the letter N for my name. Let me just click on the canvas right there to put some, to put some placeholder text. I'm going to choose my font up here. The font I'm going to use is Montserrat Black. For this sort of thing, you can use any font that you want really, but it, 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 it's only going to work if you use like a really heavyweight font. That's why I like Montserrat Black. It's a really thick heavyweight font. I'll have a link to that font in the description if you don't already have that installed. It's a free font, so you should be able to download and install it pretty easily. Now I'm just going to write letter N, uppercase N. Let me grab the uh, select tool now and scale this up. I'm going to hold shift and alt. So we scale it proportionately from the, from the uh, center. Let me put this towards the center of the page right here. I want to take this text object and convert it to a outline. So I'll go to type, create outlines. There we go. And I want to take the opacity of this and bring this down a little bit as well so I can see where it lines up with the lines here. And let me just take both of these objects. I'm going to click over both of them. And I'm going to, I'm going to grab the Align menu over here. It should be in this tab. If you don't have the Align tab visible, you can just go to Windows and look for Align. And where it says Align to, I want this set to Align to Artboard. And I'm just going to make sure that both of these objects are centered up on the artboard like that. And then I can click off of that to deselect everything. Now I want to take just this letter N and I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to hold Shift and Alt to scale this up like that. I want this to be about that big. Right there. That's, what I'm, that's, a, that's about what I'm looking for right there. Now what I want to do is take these lines. We're going to work with these lines a little bit now. We're going to go to Object, Ungroup, and then we're going to go to Object, Path, and click on Outline Stroke. And it's going to turn those into outlines rather than strokes. Now what we can do is go to Object, Compound Path, Make. And then what we want to do now is just click and drag over both of these objects right here. 
and look for your Pathfinder menu, which should be over here. Again, if you don't have the Pathfinder menu available in here, just come up here to where it says Window and look for Pathfinder. And with both of those objects selected, I want to come over here to where it says Intersect. and Click on that, and it's going to create an intersection of the lines and the letter there. So finally, what I want to do now is just ungroup this. Go to Object, Ungroup. And now what I want to do is let's click off of this to deselect everything. I want to go through here and make all of these lines. I want to make the left side of each line have a pointed tip, just like I did in the, in the thumbnail there. So let me zoom in on this. I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel. If you have a, a point like this, you could just, like a little, little nub here in the end, you could just press delete and get rid of that. I'm going to grab the direct selection tool, which is right here, and I'm going to click and drag over the two anchor points of this line right here. And then I'm going to right click them and go to average and choose both. Click OK, and that's going to turn those two points into uh, those two anchor points into a single point. And the idea here is to just go through and do this with the rest of these here. So let me click on those, average both, average both. There we go. And if you zoom out a little bit, you'll see it's starting to take effect here. Now the reason I told you to delete those little end caps at the end there is because there are no two points at the end here. It wouldn't, it wouldn't really work. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. With this one, it should work because we have this line segment in here. These two can be joined together. So let me just go through and average all of these lines real quick and then I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Okay, so as you can see here, I have finished up going through and making each of these lines have pointed tips over here at the left end. One final thing that you can do if you want, you can finish the design right here if you want, or what you could do is you can go through and give each of these rounded caps at the end here. Now if you click on this and you grab your uh, direct selection tool, you'll notice these two little round knobs on the inside of the, uh, the shape here. And if you pull them in, you'll notice it gives it a rounded, it gives the line a rounded end like that. And if you want, you could just go through and give all of these rounded ends if you want to do that. Uh, I think it, personally, I think it looks good either way. I kind of like how it looks with the sharp, with the sharp ends like that. But if you prefer how it looks that way with the rounded ends, you can go through and do that as well if you like. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating these simple line style uh, letter logos using Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.